decided to record at this part i do apologize but all the ingredients are going to be listed in the description this is a j nice recipe if you can cook you know who that is i'm joking but j nice is an entrepreneur she sells clothes and she cook and she's coming up with a cookbook so I'm trying to pre-order the cookbook whenever she releases the pre-order dates because her food sell off and this is sesame oil by the way I figured I'd go all the way out and I don't have any olive oil so I figured that would be the best alternative we're not really making them cook all the way because I have to add the bell pepper and all the other stuff but I made this a couple I was it last week I'm gonna insert the clip of how it looks when I made it last time and I followed everything in her recipe except for the broccoli. I used spinach and this week I'm adding pineapple. I think I'm going to make it a little bit sweeter. And I do tweak the recipe a little bit. So whatever I use, I will be dropping it in the description for you guys. I'm going to put that brown, brown to cooking. So you can have some color before everything is cooked down. So we're not necessarily cooking it all the way through. That's why we get some color. We get that. so the oil is not cold it's not going to be super cold don't be like me and this thing is uh, because uh, I'm going to be honest I don't remember the taste of this oil I knew this before I just don't remember what it tastes like I figured since I was making the first oil why not make this chicken in the second oil so if I don't like it I know it's kind of fine and I'm going to do some ink over here and I'm going to make some some um, noodles on the side and I'm doing bok choy on the side as well I really don't eat rice like that anymore because I've been hitting the thing I only eat rice once or twice a day which is most of my weekend but if I don't have to eat rice, I don't eat it. Put my cooking down before I add all my other ingredients. Put my oil in the second oil. The water boiling up for the pasta, so I'm gonna add it in with a little bit of salt and a little bit of oil. I turned some other chicken and I said I was doing it about one pot the last time here. I put everything all at once and slowly making them get a little bit more color. I feel like the last time they didn't have as much color. Um, it was more of like a soft chicken. It was great, but 
I'm making room for some more, but I really, really like how everything is turning out. And I'm going to link, I'm going to try to link the ingredients so you guys can have visuals of what I use. And the coloring on it is a seasoning, it's a garlic seasoning that adds a little color to the food. And I really like the color that it gives. I'm going to add in some more of the chicken. Okay, I'm going to get some more washing in this bowl. Um, I'm using one hand to record it right now because I didn't want to use my ring light. So I'm using the stove light and I'm making it work. And it's been a minute since I posted a video, a cooking video at least. So I don't want to fall out with the cooking videos. Makeup videos on the way. I'm getting a facial soon because I'm breaking out really badly. And I can't show you guys my hair because there's also videos coming up. I changed my hair with something new. So that video will be posted shortly maybe it might be posted before this who knows but i had to give that some closer because the chicken the chicken really look nice they really look nice i feel like i'm gonna take out some of them and put to the side and then i'm gonna put everything back in the pot because i don't have a pan deep enough to like cook everything together and I can't wait for that girl to drop her cooking room because I'm literally gonna buy everything in the book, the wok, the utensils, I want it all because the food shots and that stuff looks so good but I'm just giving you guys a close up. The sesame oil smells so good so fingers crossed it tastes good because I'm not really a big fan of trying different oils because oil does impact the taste of the food a lot. So fingers crossed it come out good. And I really enjoy this. But I will use in some angel hair. Plant based protein. Um one box. I'm only gonna do one box. Just one box. And because I don't want it to stick, I'm going to pour just a tad bit of the same sesame oil. It might add a little flavor to it because I'm going to saute it down with some sauce. And I'm going to sprinkle my new favorite seasoning of all time. Of garlic salt, lately. So I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of garlic sauce in the water so when it boils on, it can like absorb the flavor. I'm gonna stand boiling now. for the next trick. So, guys, I'm adding in the seasoning. The oil is really, really hot. This is some onion. I'm 
na ako juice from Sunshine Nut. It's gonna add it to sweetness to it. Guys, I'm gonna use a tea in a couple of minutes and then add in the sauce. I'm sure you guys are gonna add in for the sauce. Guys, it's time to add in the sauce. So guys, it's time to add in the sauce. So first I added some soya sauce. Um I think this was around two tablespoons, but don't quote me on that. Um and then afterwards I'm gonna add this Kung Fu stir fry sauce. Uh, like I said, everything's gonna be in the description. I had to start doing a voiceover because there was a lot of noise going on in my background and it was messing up my sound. Um, and then we're gonna add some sweet chili sauce. Just drizzle it over the chicken. I think I, ha I added some sriracha sauce off camera, my apologies. And then I also added Thai sweet chili sauce from a different brand. Because I just liked how it tasted from the last chicken that I made. I used that same sauce for most of the base and it was really good. Um, like I said, I added sriracha sauce off camera around one and a half tablespoons. And then now I'm just adding in the sesame seeds. And a little parsley, my favorite. But don't worry guys, all the things I use, whether I use it on camera or not, will be in the description. And I like to add a little bit of hot water so I can get more liquid for the gravy. Because sometimes when you put this chicken to steam, the gravy dries up. I want to have moist chicken, so... I like to boil some water and add it to my gravy. Let me know if, in the comments if you guys do the same. But I feel like adding hot water makes more sense. Because I feel like if I add cold water, it's going to throw out the whole thing. But that's just me. And that's how I will start to cook. So everybody's different. But everything is coming together nicely. Um, I'm not going to lie. I'm definitely going to make this again. Came out better than I expected it to like it was it was just amazing so now i'm adding in the spinach um i like to just put it on the top and then i'm gonna close the lid so it can actually like just simmer down and cook you're gonna see how quickly that whole bag of spinach literally turns into nothing. That's the one thing I'm not a big fan of with spinach. No matter how long or how little you cook it, it literally just shrivels into nothing. Um, right here I'm just showing you guys um the bok choy that I added to this, and then we're back. To me steaming the spinach y'all see how puffy it looks on the top 
just wait until it completely finished it's gonna look like i didn't add anything to it it's, it's kind of crazy but i definitely will try the broccoli next time around just to see if i like the crunch with the chicken guys the chicken is finished um spinach melted nicely everything just looks really good the noodles didn't come out exactly how i wanted it but i'm gonna eat it anyway and i'm just plating stuff for the rest of the week so guys this is meal prep for the rest of the week of the bok choy spicy chicken stir fry the pineapples pineapple is in this one i'm not sure how much of them have the pineapple in there but there's more pineapple in the pot but i will show you guys how i'm gonna plate my food tonight i'm not eating a lot because i'm gonna work out and come back and show you what i'm eating but everything looks bomb that's how you meal prep guys i haven't really been eating a lot of rice so i've just been doing a lot of chicken breasts last week what did i do last week i'm trying to remember i think last week i did pasta too but i got tired of the meatballs but i feel like this week i'm gonna make it work i still need to try quinoa so stay tuned for that quinoa meal prep recipe but this ababos this this day good and i'm gonna show you guys the other way i cook the chicken i'm gonna post a video of doing that in a few weeks because i'm gonna give chicken a break next week i might do some beef tips or some shrimp i'm not sure i haven't decided but thank you guys so much for watching on everything crates stay tuned for more videos i know i've been slacking i do apologize i've been going through some things but you know we started the journey and we intend to follow it through so thank you guys so much for the support if you really like this video thumbs up share it with your friend i really would appreciate some comments thank you again for tuning in on everything chris